today's video, what we're going to be discussing today is some travel tips prior to coming to Costa Rica and what to expect when you get here. So we'll be discussing things like how to book airline tickets and to get the cheapest flights, when the best time is to come out here, where are you going to be staying, so some great accommodation ideas, whether or not you're going to be a solo traveler, all the way up to big parties and getting boutique hotels, currency, do I need to bring Costa Rica colonies with me? Don't worry about that. We'll discuss that as well. Also, there'll be a lot of links below that you can check out. Please enjoy the video and welcome to Costa Rica. Okay, as far as airports, we have two international airports here in Costa Rica. We've got San Jose Airport, which is SJO, and we also have Liberia International Airport. That's going to be up north in Guanacaste, and that's going to be LIR. Here is my big, big tip or trick for this one. Please guys, when you're booking your travel into San Jose, make sure you're not going to San Jose, California. Okay, we've had that happen before, where I have the clients bring in their itinerary or send it to me and say, oh, okay, we've got it, we've got the tickets booked, but then I see it and they're going to San Jose, California. So please keep that in mind. Okay, when you're booking the travel, I'm gonna have some links down below in the description that you can go ahead and look at. But you've got so many different things. And what I would suggest is get on the alerts. If you're gonna get on alert with um, TripAdvisor or, or Expedia or anything like that, I personally really like Hopper. So go ahead, click on the links below, and that'll give you some good travel tips on who you can use. But a lot of times, it's always still good to go straight through the airline direct. Also to let you know, here in Costa Rica, most of the U.S. airlines are coming in here, and a lot of them come in direct. So, Los Angeles, two different direct flights: Delta, America, sorry, Delta and Delta and Alaska Air have direct flights from Los Angeles here. And Phoenix, seasonally, they'll have American Airlines. You'll have in Texas, in Houston, Dallas, you'll have United. What else do you have there? You've got American Airlines as well coming in. Delta coming in from Atlanta, Fort Lauderdale, all sorts of different things like that. So again, go down to the bottom in the link and that'll give you some more information as well. Okay, transportation to and from the airport, whether or not you're going to be in Liberia or whether or not you're going to be in San Jose, please folks, make sure that you're getting drivers that are licensed and insured and preferably that speak English as well, okay? So we can help you with all that before you come here, after you book your airline tickets, we can help you with your transportation. The other thing is, do I need a rental car? When you're here in Hako, you're gonna be on vacation and everything is pretty much in walking distance. Taxis are all over the place and also, we do have Uber, okay? But as far as renting the car, if you do, please be very, very careful because I've had a lot of people come in and say, wow, Kevin, I got it for $15 a day. What they don't realize is in Costa Rica, for you to take that car off of their lot, what they don't tell you when you're booking it through Expedia or TripAdvisor, it's not it, their liberty to tell you that you have to have insurance here in this country to drive that car. So when you get to the airport, your $15 or maybe $40 for the week or $45 a week, all of a sudden turns into about 250. So make sure that you know that you have the insurance before you get here uh, for renting the car. Also, if you are renting the car, they may even try to push you for secondary insurance. If you have American Express, you really don't need that. But what you should do is check with your credit card company and see if they do honor uh, secondary insurance for rental cars. Okay, you've booked your travel. Now where are you gonna stay? Well, it depends on if you're a solo traveler, if you're a couple, if you're a big group, may even be for a bachelor party or a bachelorette party, may even be for your honeymoon, who knows? But what we have down below is we have a questionnaire that you can go ahead and fill out and then we'll reply back to you and give you some options. So we've either got one bedroom apartments, two bedroom apartments and condos, all the way up to boutique hotels that can sleep up to 20, 30 people. So go ahead and fill out the questionnaire. We'll help you out and then get you settled in on where you're gonna stay here in Costa Rica. Okay, I know a lot of you can't be without your mobile devices. Don't worry, we're not a third world country here. We do have Wi-Fi. Even when you get off the airplane and you're going through customs, click onto it right away, say hi to your friends and family, start bragging that you're on this beautiful trip in Costa Rica, but again, we've got Wi-Fi everywhere and it's usually free Wi-Fi. We're saying that, when you are coming to Costa Rica, maybe try to get a hold of your service provider, whether or not it's AT&T or Verizon, a couple of weeks ahead of time and get it set up for your international roaming. I know a lot of people do it for like $10 a day and they have everything unlimited as far as calls, texting and all that stuff. 
for me, my favorite application, instead of using FaceTime or anything like that, I really like using WhatsApp. And if you're not used to WhatsApp, go ahead, download it for free. You wouldn't believe how many of your friends are actually on it. So my favorite one is WhatsApp to communicate with people globally. When you come to Costa Rica, a lot of people start wondering and worrying about money and currency. So the currency here in Costa Rica is called the Colony. You really don't have to worry about doing any currency exchange while you're in the United States because most likely Wells Fargo, Bank of America are not going to have colonies. So go ahead and bring your U.S. dollars down here. Another tip, make sure you call your credit card and your bank, your credit card company and your bank to let them know that you're going to be traveling as well. But as far as when you get here, go ahead and bring your U.S. cash and then any of the major banks that we have here in Costa Rica, make sure that you take your passport in with you and they'll give you proper currency for Costa Rica colonies. With saying that, if you do spend U.S. dollars, don't worry about it. They will be giving you back colonies for change. Okay, also the ATM cards work just fine as well. Most of them are in English too and everyone's really friendly and happy to help you out with everything. Costa Rica is definitely getting on board with all the really cool restaurants, bars, happy hours, and things like that. One thing that they really don't promote here, but they do have, is happy hours. So where to go for the happy hours? When you go to a restaurant, just kindly ask them, hey, when, what's your happy hour special? But again, it's not like going to a TGI Fridays or anything like that where they're really trying to promote it. So with that, I'll have a link below to the Swell Hot Go and they'll give you a lot of information. Just go ahead and click onto that and that'll let you know the happy hours up in Guadacaste or down here in Hako as well. But as far as food, beverage, water, water is way safe to drink here, guys. Don't worry about that. Any of your lettuce and your salads that are washed in water and ice, everything's completely fine. So again, we do have a great food experience here in Costa Rica. Enjoy yourself while you're here. They've got everything that you have at home, but you don't necessarily need all that. If you're gonna be here, my suggestion is get some great fish. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope we gave you a lot of information. If you didn't get all the information or all the questions answered that you needed on how to travel and come into Costa Rica, please go ahead and hit us up in the comment section below. Some of you even may have been here quite a few times and you may have seen something that we've missed. You put that in there to help out other people as well. Please subscribe to this channel and we hope to see you here soon in Costa Rica.